Last time on The Ties That Bind, Asmo found himself face to face with you, Solomon Liebentod's go-to drow. The affable errand boy delivered Asmo a series of tasks. One to reacquire Solomon's prized blade from the royal family of dragons, and another to mark 100 slain foes with a special brand. With message delivered, the drow disappeared into the shadows, promising to be in touch. The following morning, Denier, Wolfgang, Tiwig, and Asmo found themselves once again at the foot of King Bahum's throne. This time, a request to join the royal family at the peace summit in Silver Rock was made. With all in agreement, they made travel arrangements and set out for Silver Rock. With few places to stay in this bustling town, Denier took the time to show off a new spell at the edge of town. Conjuring a modest black fortress, the party entered to a relaxing lounge, enjoying their brief respite as a crowd gathered outside. Yeah, not for nothing, Denier, but there's a crowd of people farming outside. As well looks out the window. <laughs> That's a good question. Does this fortress have windows? It doesn't actively say it. Um, I would say that they would be small windows, not big enough for somebody to actually shimmy their way through. Okay, so like uh, slitted walls that you might partition yeah. arrows out of. Yeah, arrow slits, basically. Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, the tower did just appear, and the area looks like it's uh, mostly farm folk. So who wants to handle the farm folk? Uh... Oh, I can do that. Immediately leave. <laughs> oh. You step outside to a bunch of, uh, I guess the best word I can use is slack-jawed locals just sort of looking over this place. Well, it just kind of popped up out here right outside. Of, whoop. Oh, uh, hello. Well, hello, who, who are you? Are you one of oh. them northerners, fancy folk come down here making stuff? Uh, I am not north. I am not fancy. Uh, I am Tiwig. It is nice to meet you. Well, you got that fancy metal suit on. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, what, um, what's your name? Uh, Joe. Nice to meet you, Joe. I like your fancy overalls. Well, thanks. I just got them all sewed up. It's for the event. There's gonna be a party out there. Oh, really? Um, can I help you? Uh, we just want to know what you, you all's doing out here in this here field. I mean, my kinfolk oh. out here, they, they're concerned that you just kind of pop up out of nowhere. Uh, the, the, my friend Denier, he made this. He's a cat. Um, he waved his arm and then it just, poof, it did, did like that. See one of them fancy northern folk? Because, like, we, like we, I... we've been dealing with lots of them with them fancy magics. I ain't never seen nothing like this. Um, you ain't none gonna explode on us, is you? No way. I don't think like, I've. We'd have to report that. Ain't ain't nobody around here is gonna do that no more. Um, have I ever exploded before? I just think back to being in Tim Ree's workshop. Um, I don't believe that there will be any exploding, though I cannot promise this, as anything can happen. Uh, more, more and more people continue to gather around here as the, uh... It's not like an angry mob or anything, but it's definitely a curio that people are gathering around. Uh... Um... Maybe I should, uh, one second. I'm gonna run back inside. Wolfgang! Yeah, what? What? Help, I'm nervous. Help! <laughs> Wolfgang puts on his hat and walks outside. Denier doing, joins that, him. doing that cowboy strut. Denier, you said you'd join him? Yep. Asma's Asma. just going to stay. Asma's just going to look from the outside. That's going to be good. It's be good. Ladies sipping, and gentlemen. Some tea. Ladies and gentlemen, I realize this might be a startle for all of you, but this is just, this is going to be temporary. We'll be off your land soon. We are emissaries from the south. An older man starts to step up. Well, this here's at the edge of my territory. You gonna pay for this land? Like I said, this is only temporary. Both the spire and us will be gone. In, uh... Denier! Yeah. He's, he's standing right behind you. Oh. Denier. <laughs> <laughs> you turn uh. around yell, Denier! Ah! 
how long uh how long does this last uh 24 hours but i can cast the spell again in order to make it last another 24 hours and how long we stay in here until the summit which is in about five days less than a week's time we will be gone and you can go about your business The old man kind of eyes you over. As I said, you're at the edge of my land here, feller. And if you don't want me to get these guards to shove you off, uh, more of a commotion is starting to kind of rumble from the back as people begin to part. Step aside, step aside. And there he is, the Baron. Baron. These whippersnappers over here just set up shop on my yard. Uh, Barristan kind of just like walks past him and like bumps him over. <laughs> ah! All right, what's going on here? Pardon me, stranger. You look familiar. Do I know you? He kind of smiles down at the, uh, at you and Denier. You might. My name is Wolfgang Connolly. The name rings a bell. We fought basilisks together a while back. We helped ah, track yes. down some brigands. You help? Yes, that's correct. You assisted me with those brigands. Ah, good to have you here. What brings you this far north? The king requested we, us to be here. The are, king himself? We are accompanying King Bahum. Uh, has, he, has he already made it? I mean, he left in such a hurry the other day. I don't believe so. I think he's still at the capital attending matters, but he'll be here shortly. Hmm. Well, welcome to my lands. Welcome to Silver Rock. He gestures behind him to the flourishing town and the a uh, small mountainscape. We're responsible for all of this land's go or all of this land's silver. Beautiful okay. lands. Yes, quite fertile. In fact, I believe uh, some of your weaponry, sir, you uh, may have gotten those materials from here. He looks down at you, Wolfgang. This man, uh, by the way, T Wig, this man is. Very tall, like mm -hmm. I'd say about 6'4". He's got uh, flowing, luscious locks of uh, black hair. He's got a perfect smile, like 10 out of 10, like no false teeth, no nothing. And uh, a square jaw. He is, he is the stereotypical depiction of what a harrowing knight would look like. Gotcha. I believe uh, you described him last I... time as Brad Pitt meets George Clooney. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm bad with actors, so I, I have an idea, though. Uh, I would like to walk over and help that old man up who got kind of tossed to the side. I'm going to help him onto his feet. All right, you do so. Eh. Eh, he must not have seen me. I'm a little short. I get it. No, it's okay. Thank you. He looks at you. No problem. You feel... Cold, are you, uh, are you ill? I am very sick, achoo. Ah, stay away. Eh, he kind of like hobbles back. All right, I, I just walk back to the group and look at this weirdly handsome man. Hmm. You seems to have changed, however. Didn't you used to, uh, be taller and thought you had scales? I don't know. My memory's not great. Either way, welcome back. Um, uh, can I roll an insight check to see what he means by that? Uh, sure. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, you only know one person that travels with them that has scales, so you kind of get the idea that uh, he's referring to Asmo. Okay, I turn and go uh, with my best Asmo impression. Go, yeah, it's me, Snake Guy. Ha! Well, I like the armor. Much better for battling brigands. That way they can't stab you so good, huh? Yes, I will battle all the brigands. <laughs> ah, that's the spirit. Sweating oil. Ooh, seem to be running a little. Yep, I'll be running now. I turn around and go back inside of the tower. Hmm. How'd that go? Go outside, please! Mm, I hate him, so no. 
Oh, that's fair. That's really fair. I pretended to be you. I'm sorry. Nah. Okay, I was wondering what that was. Was it? Was it good? Was it? Was it close? It needs work. I have notes. Okay. Dang. Your friend seems quite skittish. He says, looking back towards uh, Wolfgang and Denier. Ah, uh, well, you know, they're sort of a rough couple journeys we had. Hmm. Well, sort of getting back out on the road, getting them skittish again. Well, if you ever wish to regale me, I'd love to have you as a guest at our manor. You'll find it at the top of the hill over there, but unfortunately we're playing host to several dignitaries right now, so you'll understand if I can't leave that invitation open, as it were. That's a fair point. We're only here as... Emissaries and guards for King Bahum, so. Mm. Perfectly Moved reasonable. up in the world. Guess you could say that, yeah. Mm. Well, since last we met, I have become baron of these lands. Father passed away not too long after we met. Ah. Sorry to hear that. Oh, it's fine. He was oh, old. Okay. Weak! Not young and virile. Oh, I want to insight him to see, <laughs> to see if he had some not so great feelings about his father. Ah, uh, go for it. Fourteen. You can tell he's not broken up at the loss of him. Although he did seem to respect the man. Hmm. Well. Regardless, you still have my sympathies. Hmm. Well, I'll take them, I suppose. Anyway, enjoy my lands, and... Hmm. Thinking about it, you... Hmm. Are you interested in a little bit of work? Work? Well, but... you mentioned here that you were... Playing God for the king, and I assume that means you would like him to be safe, yes? Well, um, that is the goal for us. Perfect. Accompanying him. Well, there have been some rumors about the town of certain, let's say, less than reputable individuals, although some of these rumors are probably just those not being used to the people from the north that are coming to visit. But... While it is hard for me to truly browse through all of these complaints, some of them may have merit. If you wish to assist in these matters, feel free to look about the town. I've heard rumors of a certain nature going around. One of a goblin being spotted nearby, or maybe goblins, not really sure. Mm. Feel free. Right. Well, if... Me and my company have time. I'm sure that the I'm sure that we'd be glad to help. Well, with the summit in five days' time, I assume you'd have time. But if you're just on vacation, I don't wish to trouble you. This is, after all, my duty, and myself and Miss Vileblood have been doing a fair job of securing this town. Miss Vileblood. Uh, so she's here, huh? Oh, Asmo, Asmo, Asmo's hand itches. You scratch at the small scar on the back of your hand. You okay? Uh, yeah, me, 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 I met her. She's uh, intense. Oh, you, you have a lot. To, oh, sorry. You have a lot of relationship with a lot of ladies. Yeah, it's not been healthy. Mm. Captivating woman, yes. Did you know that she found, oh, what was it? I think it was three, three magic bloods on the way down. Oh, burned them upon entering. It was wonderful. Duly noted. You know, if you have some that you don't want, I know of a facility down near the capital that near. happily takes them. Takes them? Like, incinerates them. Well, if we do that all here. Think of it as, as a prison. It, it's, it's a whole, you know, 
you know, place to keep them so they won't so they won't harm anybody, you know. That seems cruel. Uh, Why not just burn them? <laughs> because if you burn them, they won't be of use to anybody. I mean, they aren't. You'd be surprised. They can be. <laughs> oh. What do they teach Let... down in the south? He just kind of rolls his eyes. Lenny, as he's talking, I'm assuming I'm hearing this, right? Uh, you have a passive perception that would probably allow you to overhear this conversation, yes. Yeah. Does that does that emit anything? Does that do anything for Tueg at all? Mm. Nothing that's really come into mind at the very least. I mean, you could uh, actually go ahead and roll me an insight on yourself. Okay. 17. No, nothing really. I mean, you, you get like... Yeah, nothing, nothing really comes to mind. Okay. Only whatever you're feeling. So I don't know what magic bloods are. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can't say you've really heard the term, probably. You would have heard them described as the arcane innate. Hmm. But regardless, if you happen to come across any of those, please feel free to report them to me as well. After Wait, all, man. those of the North are, uh, not too kind on their persuasion, and gotta keep things clean around here. Oh, trust me, we'll be on the lookout, and we'll be sure to let you know if we see anything. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, uh, one other small rumor I heard twisting about the winds here. Somebody's mentioned that they saw a strange elf. Now, I haven't seen any elves around here in a while, but... With those traveling up from the south and down from the north, who knows? An elf? Yes. Uh, get, get any sort of description? Said he was kind of shadowy, shady. Didn't really want to speak to anybody. Out mostly at night, from what I understand. Could just be dark. a recluse here with the... Wouldn't happen to be a dark elf, would it? Like, what, perhaps? Like a... White hair, black skin. White hair was mentioned, though most people... Eh, it's all faint rumors, really. Hmm. Well, we'll be sure to be on the lookout for this elf as well. Wonderful. Thank you for the information. Absolutely. After all, what are old hunting mates for if not telling tales, eh, what? <laughs> I suppose so. Anyway, I should be going. Gotta shore up those defenses for the summit. You all have a wonderful stay here. I don't see any reason to make you move. I know the inns are rather crowded, and that place seems rather nice and cozy. Thank you. Well... <sighs> I'm off then. Have a wonderful day. He starts. Farewell, to... Baron. Kind of waves. Farewell, Connolly. Kind of marches off. And the crowd begins to disperse as the Baron leaves. King walks inside. <laughs> what an arsehole. As was just chewing his hand, his fingernails. Yeah, a guy. Oh, man. Let's make it an obvious rule. Let's not talk about Pip while we're here. Obviously. Oh, by the way, Kiwi, Pip is, we... a, Pip is a friend of ours we met. Used to work for him, but uh, he was abandoned by that man. I don't oh, so... like him. He talked about burning people. Yeah, we also yeah. shouldn't mention that there's a college in the capital that trains sorcerers. Yeah, it's kind of a... Uh... That's the thing. Ramses is sending, sending emissaries here to try to get people from here. Yeah, He's going to know about it sooner or later. It should be handled by the professional politician. If we find any, we have to get them out of here. Well, it's obvious. We're not going to tell Kench about them. I said the wrong name, I think. Nope. 
You said it no. right. Barristan and Kench. We're not going to tell Kench about him. That's for damn certain. Mm. <sighs> yeah, this is awkward. Alto's going to be here in a few days as well. He said something about a job. What do you know about it? Well, he just said to acquire around town about some goblins. Uh, maybe the hobgoblins we sent packing. Here's another thing. He said a dark elf was with them. Oh yeah, it's definitely the hobgoblins. Uh. I thought that they were bear that bears that were also bugs. Yeah, they weren't. They weren't hobgoblins. Hobgoblins are like red with black hair, a lot taller. Yeah, you're referring to the bug bears. They could also be the remnants of the town that fled east after after dark uh, dark launch was destroyed. Well, either way, it's something to look into. All right, so I've been given a couple of rumors, and you now have a place to stay, and the Baron's not going to make you move. Therefore, the people can't make you move. <laughs> yeah. So, no one people in high places. What's your course of action? It's probably mid afternoon of the first day, out of, you know, the fifth day being the summit itself. So, what do you think? Gathering information, see what we can find. Listen to rumors. Yeah. Might as well. Got nothing else to do for the next five days. If Dark Elf is in town at the time of the summit, then exactly what I thought was going to happen was probably being set up. So we need to fight this Dark Elf. Yeah, but remember what happened last time we went looking for a Dark Elf on the East Summit? Yeah, this time we'll split up. I didn't like that near reverse. I was trapped in a mirror for a while, Tee Week. Don't ask. I won't. That's <laughs> awful. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, it, it was not fun. Mm. I don't know. The place we were transported to seemed like it might have been some kind of a base of operations. I think Solomon operates in the north. I don't think they have that kind of setup down here. I wouldn't underestimate them, though. That's not what I'm saying. So we are splitting the pack? <laughs> Suppose so, Asmo. You're, you're good with your mouth. You can go to a tavern or something. Talk about some rumors, maybe. Me and T-Wig uh, probably go hunting for tracks or something. Denier can join you in the tavern. All right. All right. So, <clears throat> since we're splitting the party now, go ahead and uh, pick one representative from each group to roll me initiative. Oh, boy. I'll go ahead and roll initiative. Yeah, you do it. <laughs> 16. 16 for Wolfgang's group. All right, Taka, who do you want to do it? I think you Taka has the higher decks. Oh, okay. Well, well, then I will do it. I will pop. I didn't pop up my character sheet. I'm sorry. Initiative. <sighs> and regardless. Damn it. That's most just like, eh, nap first. <laughs> one of those days, man. One of those days. Uh, so Wolfgang, as Asmo's, like, basically lounging on the couch. If this were more modern, he'd have, like, a remote control in his hand and a few. Uh, you have Netflix you and up. Be like, I'm going, I'm staying in today. It's a midday self-care. No, I haven't yeah. made the medieval TV yet. Still working on it, though. Yeah, we don't, we don't have... It's just Denier okay. doing illusions in front of him. We don't have scry vision Yeah, we don't have scry vision yet. <clears throat> So, uh, Wolfgang, you and T-Wig step out into the farming field, 
And uh, where do you guys wish to go to look for any signs of anything? Hmm. Knowing what I know about bugbears, they like to eat. So they probably... <laughs> they do like food. Hmm, ah. food. Food good. They probably... are going around somewhere to get fed or maybe steal food. I don't know. There, are, there aren't rumors of stolen chickens or anything, right? You haven't looked for rumors anywhere. Like, where do you want to start? Hmm. You said we're in a farm right yeah you're you're in kind of like the rural area just outside of town you can see the town down a dirt road that turns into a cobblestone road you're on kind of like the dirt road end and you're kind of just past the farming area and uh you're essentially out to the uh yeah out to the west of town <clears throat> back to the east you can see the mountains on one side and then the like small mountains on the other side which are kind of the lip of the maw Well, Tiwig, I think we should ask some of the fine folk around here if they've heard anything about bugbears. Okay. Um, who? There's still a small group of people around. Uh, most of them are kind of wandering back to their fields. A couple of children have stayed behind just to kind of like look at that tower because I think it's really cool. Are they tending to animals or anything? One of them has a dog, but they aren't really tending to it. It's just kind of sitting there wagging. Okay. I'll I'll go ahead and grab one of the farmers. All right. Uh, you wander up the road just a little bit uh, towards a couple of guys that are talking near a fence post near what seems to be kind of a field of corn. Can I help you, sir? Ah, uh, pardon me, gentlemen. Uh, Baron Kench uh, came by and informed us there might be a situation with some goblinoids around here. So I wondering if you two had heard anything about that or had information. Let me roll for these two gentlemen. They both seem about middle-aged men. Well, I'm just kind of keep staring at you while chewing on like a piece of wheat. The other one, uh, who you introduced, or... Didn't really introduce yourself to, but uh, the other one who actually spoke to you. Hmm. Well, I'm just a hand around here, uh, part-time. I did hear the old man up at the farmhouse kind of curmudgeon old bastard he is, but he was talking about something going on last night. I don't really remember what it was. I was just, you know, just trying to work the damn field. Last night. Well, he's... Curmudging about something. I was just out here putting some stuff away, about to get home. Hmm. Where'd you say, uh, where'd you say he was on? He points, uh, kind of down the way toward, like, to a little farmhouse, kind of at the edge of the field. All right. What Gentlemen, you want to do is take a left, and then what a right. What you want to do is walk down this field here, and take a right, and then you're there. <laughs> Well, gentlemen, thank you for your time. Uh, hey, no problem, sir. By the way, that's a fancy place you got there. That's real cool. Yep. Sure is fancy. That's, that's that magic stuff, right? It just kind of popped up out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, that's that's wizard stuff. Don't worry about it. Man. I wish I could read. <laughs> this guy can, goes back to looking at his friend. Do Who anything. Can? Do anything you set your mind to. All right, come on, Tiwi. I missed. Th he just sits there. I never thought of it that way. <laughs> I, I wanted to, the entire time that exchange is going on, I want to pet the dog <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> yeah, you're just standing over with the children and petting the dog. The kids think you're like the coolest fucking thing ever. They're just kind of looking around at you. Whoa, what are you? What, what? That's some real cool armor you got there, mister. I, I kind of, this is going to be so rude, but I kind of ignore the kids and just keep petting the dog. And I'm like, you're doing yeah, good. They're, they're, keep it up, champ. <laughs> They're just asking inane questions. Are you a knight? No, it's not even dark outside. Oh, okay, let's go walking. Burf. Goodbye. The dog just kind of sits there, absent-minded, like wagging, looking at you. All right. All right, you guys head off to the farmhouse? Yeah, we're heading to the old man's place. 
right. As you get there, you uh, you see an old man sitting on what looks to be a uh, kind of whittled rocking chair. It's the same old man that Kench knocked over. Ah, it's oh. you lot again. Hello. Hello again, sir. He tips his hat. Tell that one not to breathe on me. Said I'm they're not, sick. I'm not actually sick. I'm better now. I had uh, some medicine. All right, but don't get me sick. I'm old. I don't need to be sick, too. I assure you, sir, we are, we are both perfectly healthy. Uh, we'd heard from one of the farmhands down there that uh, there was some sort of a commotion last night and that you might have something to uh, say about it. I weren't no commotion last night, just dealing with some varmints rolling through my fields, stealing some of my crops and breaking things down. <sighs> Sounds like them. Could you show Sounds us like who? Well, Baron Kench, he had told us about uh, some activity. There might be some goblins in the area, and we were wondering if that might be them. Ah, so the Baron sent you. Bless his radiant soul. Yeah, uh, sure. Fine, I'll show you the way. Ah, kind of gives that old man back crack. Ah, this way. Right. Grabs his walking stick and starts walking through the field with you. Follow him. What kind of field is it? Like, what's the what's the crop? Uh, near the front of the house, it looks kind of like carrots and cabbage. Uh, near the back is a lot of corn. Okay. As we're walking, I'm just going to druid craft a bunch of the corn and have it, like, pop, like, grow slightly. It's just kind of growing behind you. Like, the, the stuff's all starting to sprout and uh, pop up, but he doesn't know, so he's just kind of, like, leading you. <laughs> As you end up walking past the fence post, those two are, uh, were gabbing at... You two, get back to work! Uh, yes, sir, sorry. Uh, meanwhile, they look at the field. What the? And he continues walking. Um, he gets you to kind of like the back corner. Looks like it leads off to kind of the side where I guess the mines look off to be in the distance. Basically, if you're facing, uh, you're kind of heading kind of like to the southwest corner of his land. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of towards the end of this little, let's say, silver ore infested mountain. And it's right about here. Something broke down my goddamn fence. Gotta go buy more lumber. Uh, shipment ain't coming in from the fallwood for another few days. Can I roll an investigation check to see if I can find any uh, crops that look like they've had the corn stolen? Sure. Uh, in fact, both of you roll investigations yeah, if like, you want to look around the area. I was about to say I'd like to help on that. Thirteen. T-Wig, there have definitely been some disturbed stalks. Uh, a lot of them look like they were broken straight out or maybe even pulled out straight from the root. That's okay. eight for me. Uh, Wolfgang, this entire area... It, it's definitely been muddled over, but you can't tell what did it. It may very well have just been a stray animal that wandered in, grabbed something with its mouth, and wandered off. The area is just kind of padded down. Doesn't help that it seems like it rained. The uh, it doesn't help that it seems like it rained last night. I would like to kneel down to one of the stalks that's still in the ground that has mm -hmm. had its crop stolen, and I would like to cast Speak with Plants. All right. Here we go. Love this. Hello? Well, Tarnation, what's she doing here? What? Oh, shit, I can talk! Yeah, you can. Also, this is frightening for me. Um. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you none. It's okay. <laughs> I can't believe Scooter turned into corn. I was just thinking that shit! Scooter's not Catch dead anymore, cow. guys. He got reincarnated into a corn cob. Catch a corn! <laughs> Well, this just crazy to me. I, I, I ain't never spoke none before. I, I just normally sit here, and then they come and pull off pieces of me. Hurts like the dickens, but God damn it, it's what I do. Well, that's what you get for being delicious. It's oh, that's, 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 that's about right. So um, what can I do you for? Oh, I have a couple questions. Uh, first of all, what's your name? 
Oh shit! I ain't, I ain't never had one of them. Fuck! I'm you gonna call you. I'm gonna call you Cornwell. Cornwell? Oh hell! I like that. I like that. Sounds fancy, like. Yeah, it's super fancy, like you. Um, but I know oh, some. Oh shucks. I know. Oh some shit! That was a pun. Oh, 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 <laughs> Um, I noticed some of your friends are, like, not alive anymore and, like, have been, you know, stepped on and also have had their corn taken. Um, do you know who has done this to you? Let me roll intelligence for this corn. <laughs> oh, great. See if he remembers. Dragons, folks. <laughs> I mean, there's been a lot of stuff going on around here lately. I mean, there's... I mean, there was that rain last night. That felt real good. It helped me get up there. But, man, when there was some, like, commotion going on, like, I, I turned over and I'm like, hey, what's going on? And then, like, there's, I don't know, things just, like, carrying off the, I, I don't know, I've never seen it like it before. Like, kind of like you, but, like, not really. Like, bigger, but not really bigger, but sort of bigger. I understand, and I nod sagely. Am... Did they go this way? And I point, like, past the broken fence to, like, I'm assuming there's, like, a, is there a tree line, or? Uh, it just kind of leads off into, th there are some trees out there. Like, you're near some small foresty areas. There, <laughs> there are, like, patches of trees. Nothing that you'd call, like, a dense wooded area. But, uh, there are certainly some areas that you might consider, like, a small forest leading off into the, uh, mountain region. Okay. Um... This might be hard, but do you know how many there were? Oh, shoot. I wasn't really paying attention too much. None. That storm was, like, raging and blowing us all around and whatnot. But I don't, maybe, like, three, two, three, maybe four, maybe seven, maybe ten. I don't really know. They, they done broke up that old dead tree over there, though. Really pissed off that old man. Oh, damn, that geezer's real pissed. Old tree? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right over there. You see that thing right there? That, that, that thing that's, uh... You know, that, that, uh, what they call it, fencing? Yeah, that's made oh. from, like, dead tree. That's least... dark. I don't like that, but understand. And neither do I, but you know what? I ain't no tree, so, like, different folks, I, I just, like, you know, they don't make me out of that none. They just kind of come by and rip pieces off me. That sucks, too, but at least I ain't dead and made into that. Fair enough. Um, thank you so much for the information, Cornwall. Cornwall. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, no problem. Hell yeah, come back anytime, like. Shoot. And uh, here, let me just, I'm going to touch him and I'm going to cast Druid Craft to maybe fix where he's had things ripped from him. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, heck. Oh, what was that like? Oh, shoot. Meanwhile, a little bit. Yeah, the, uh, everybody else can't hear the plant, right? Wolfgang, yeah, think... Wolfgang is just looking down at T-Wig and acting like he's paying attention to the conversation that he can't hear. <laughs> the old man's just like, what the fuck? What the hell is going on here? Uh, I don't even... That's some druid stuff. Don't worry about it. Druid. I turn oh. around to, to Wolfgang and go, okay, so I talked to your corn. <laughs> uh, he said he saw two to ten things coming through. They stole a bunch of stuff, and then they went that way. I point towards the tree line. Well, I, are you some sort of one of them there wizards? Uh, no, I am T-Wig. You confuse me, stranger. But at least you fixed my car. And he goes and starts ripping the core, like the fully formed no! core off him. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you, how long does speak with plant last? I think it lasts like a really long time. Uh, all right, so he's like, oh, this is great. I never felt it. Ah! 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 <laughs> I just well. tremble in place. <laughs> Puts them in kind of a small bag. He's carrying them. All right, well, thank you for your service. Yeah. If you find what did this, tell the Baron I said thank you. Uh, 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 sure I thing. I can't believe All right, T-Wig, uh, uh, let's... Uh, yeah. You all right? No, I am not all right. I just kind of hug myself and walk. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I Asma. lean. Wait, <laughs> I lean down. I lean down. Um, I will. Uh, I will cast healing hands on the core. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> the corn regains. <laughs> the corn regains six hit points. D and D is the greatest game ever. <laughs> That was so messed up, though. <laughs> the the corn does not grow back, but the uh, parts that look like it was torn off do kind of seam over. Oh, shoot, that feels better, I guess. I'm so sorry, Cornwell. Um, oh, shoot, so it happens all the time. Don't worry about it, none. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I we feel walk into the funny. forest. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm I'm so upset. <laughs> Meanwhile, behind you, everybody's harvesting all the corn that you helped build with drill craft. <laughs> There's an entire field. I'm an accomplice! What have I oh. done? <laughs> <laughs> just a, just screaming behind her. <laughs> if they were if they could all speak, then yes. It's a cacophony of pain. Hold on, I might be able to hear everything. <laughs> oh, if it's within 30 feet of me, I can hear anything within 30 feet of me. <laughs> then as you're walking away, you're just hearing... <laughs> 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 um, I hear the screams of the vegetables. <laughs> I'm a masochist, so I kind of like this. <laughs> this is actually pretty good for me! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Jesus Christ. So you guys all head off to the tree line with a cacophony of screaming corn behind you. Uh, meanwhile, Asmo, uh, Denier finally convinces you to get up and head out to town. Asmo just had, just plucked one of the cobs with no one looking. Mmm, corn. <laughs> yeah, you, sn you, sna you snatch it from one of the uh, bushels as you're walking by. Go ahead and roll me sleight of hand. Uh, come on. <laughs> come on. Fourteen. It goes oh by God. unnoticed. They're all preoccupied with the fact that this corn just kind of sprouted way before normal. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Mm, just sucks it dry and flings it back into the field. Yeah, you do that cartoon typewriter thing. <laughs> Uh, so where are we going to be going there, Denier? Uh, Inn would probably be the best bet. Consider that uh, all the inns were full. And uh, most stories tend to get told at the end. It's fair. We're in a book. You like those, right? A little bit. Uh, so you wander your go. way into... Yeah, you wander your way through the fields, up through town. You start getting onto the cobblestone as things start to look a little bit more residential. <clears throat> Make your way, uh, as you get further and, like, further and further into town, closer to the uh, hilltop manor of Barriston Kench. The roads get nicer, better paved, and eventually you're back in the town center with that massive statue. And the burning pikes. And then there's uh, insight. The... Can I do an insight or perception to know what those are? Yeah, go for it. Uh, Nine. With what you've heard, you can assume what they are, but you don't know as a fact that they're, in fact, people burning stakes. Mm. He's got a hunch, though. Okay. Yeah, you're now in the town center. Uh, there's various shops around. One big tavern that a lot of people seem to gather at also doubles as partly an inn for the season. Looks like a lot of people are renting out spaces around here. Uh, there is one main inn that does have a small tavern. It's kind of like a... Not really competition, but they both work for overflow. Mm. And just making sure, there's not a there's not a placard with like a weasel and a mug around, is there? Go ahead and give me a perception check. I hope not. Okay, Can I also. Yeah, go ahead. Ten. Eight. Not that you see. Good. 
<laughs> Good. <clears throat> All according to plan. So do you want to go to the the big tavern or the little tavern with the inn? Well, if we want to find out about people who are coming into town who might have bumped into the goblins, maybe we should go to the inn. That's where they'll be staying at, right? Yeah, but it's a small tavern with an inn, whereas the big tavern has a lot more people getting drunk. That's not like exactly a big secret. God, we can't tell anyone about the goblins. I'm a fine. You want to go to the big one? Go big or go home? Let's do it. Asma yeah. already starts walking there. Yeah, you, you start walking cool. up to the inn. Uh, <clears throat> or sorry, you start walking up to the <clears throat> larger tavern. Uh, it's called the Sacred Hammer. Okay, not bad, not bad. Makes sense. Uh, out front, there's a bunch of people kind of playing some dice games. Uh, having a drink, having a talk. There's uh, definitely... There's definitely a... Dirge of people of different walks of life here. <clears throat> How so? Uh, you notice that there are several people that uh, there are several people who are dressed in like soldiers' garbs with their helmets off. Probably guys who are off duty, uh, but they have varying uniforms. Some of them, like some of them, have the uh, silver and white that you see kind of walking around town. Seem to be the standard town guards of Silver Rock. Then there are a couple that are here for the event in the typical bronze and black attire that you know from the south. And then there are those in the uh, blue and silver that come from the north that you've seen. They seem to be uh, not co-mingling very often. And then there are some... Various people that definitely look like they aren't from here just dress differently. It's kind of hard to place. Some fashion sense does strike you as people that you saw, you know, dressed like around Cold Reach, but a bit warmer. Any familiar faces? Go ahead and roll me a perception. All right. Fifteen. Eight. Getting a lot of eights and nines today from you. Get them out now. Yeah, got to get them out while you can. Uh, Yes, Denier, you do see a familiar face, though it's not sitting at a table. It's kind Mm -hmm. of viewing from the side, mostly keeping their eye on people uh, walking around. You see the very uncomfortably familiar form of Inquisitrix Vileblood. Denier nudges Asmo in the side and motions with his head towards her. Yeah, she all, has the color a... le- all the color leaves Asmo's body, starting from the hand. Yeah, she seems to have a hood drawn over her head, but you can definitely make out them cheekbones. And yeah, yeah, she she has a very memorable face. Oh yeah, and figure. Yep. She's she seems to be lady. eyeing the crowd. Oh boy. Bet you she's got the same idea I do. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> As well. Just keeps flashing back to the stab through the hand. He slowly looks over towards Asmo. That's a scary lady. Asmo's a bit shook. Asmo is a... He, he's, a he's... Yeah. Asmo's a bit shook. If you don't want to be here, we can go to the other one, man. No, it's okay. She's not going to stab me in the middle of the... You know, she might. It's fine. Just just don't talk to her. Yeah, just don't do what you did last time, and I'm sure you'll be okay. I will not ever even consider doing that again. Unless we remember how she stabbed my hand into the table. Oh, no, I remember. Uh, do your thing, do your thing, I'll follow. Alright. Uh, are there anybody, are there any groups of people that are just telling stories in the end? Um, 
lot of the people who are playing dice are usually having a friendly conversation over it. Some of them are telling stories. Some of them are just generally chatting about, you know, what's been going on in town, things like that. A lot of basic conversations. Doesn't seem like anybody, like, you're still kind of mid-afternoon, so nobody's getting, like, super drunk and trying to, you know, tell tales or anything like that yet. Mm -hmm. That's typically night tavern. Yeah. Then dinner is going to go ahead and he is going to, this is probably going to be a bad idea, but Denier is going to join one of the dice tables and he is going to um, get into the conversation, basically. He's going to try to observe and get information what he can about the town um, while playing a, while playing some uh, light games of dice. Nothing like super heavy, like lose everything, but he's going to tell, tell stories. He's going to listen to everything and he's going to see what he can get. All right. You approach a table, there are <clears throat> two empty seats at one game table. A couple of what look to be uh, northerners playing. Looks like a kind of a half-elf, white hair, white beard. Eh. And then there's a uh, another gentleman with him. Looks, looks to be another half-elf, but brown hair this time. Can we help you, stranger? Hey. Just thought I'd stop stop by, have a seat, have a chat, maybe play a little bit of dice, tell a story, maybe get a story. Hmm. Well, your kind seems a bit interesting. I ain't never seen your folk before, especially around here. Yeah. My kind is far, far to the south. Hmm. Your kind, sir. Man says, looking at you, Asmo, who I'm assuming stayed with, uh, stayed with Denier. Yes. You one of them dragonborn folk we had about? You don't look That's too dragon-y. rolls his eyes. More or less. <laughs> well, if you're interested in the game, we'll play. Yeah, that a Denier. Yeah. I take it that you're from north of the mall? Yep. Mm. What town? Mm. I hail from Berg. It's east of Cold Reach. Ah, uh, yeah. Terrible Berg. business going on around there. What's happening? Oh, well, rumor came by that several murders happened around them parts. Really? Yeah. I heard it was caused by some, I don't know, some girl or something. Uh, oh boy. Crazy how those things go. Really is. Here I thought that um, as soon as you said murders, the first thing I thought of was Jester or Bordeaux. So, how did the word of the Jester of Bordeaux reach this far down past the Maw? I've been to the north. I've been to Cold Reach. I've been to Ice Forge. Yeah, we heard about him. Ah, oh, that explains much. Wait. Hold on. Doing an intelligence check on the two of these gentlemen. One of them doesn't put two and two together, but the other one. If you've been to the. Wait a minute, are you the. I think I've heard of you. Were you, were you the, were you some of the guys that, were you some of the guys that are the reason that we're here right now? What do you mean we didn't drive you down? Well, no, no, I mean, like, you were the ones that delivered the message to the arch, the archmage. Yep, that's us. Mm-hmm. I did mention that one of you was very fluffy. I didn't, didn't expect... <laughs> kind of like reaches out towards you, Denier. We'll touch your hair. <laughs> She's just like reaching out for your face. Eh. Eh, he'll, he'll humor it for now. Kind of like brushes your cheek. Ah. So that's not just some magic gun awry then. It's, that's, that's what you are. Yep. I am a walking, talking cat. 
place is full of such weird little wonders. He got undead up north. That was wonderful for us. I guess normal for one, different for another. Anyway, fancy a game? Of course. Stakes five gold. All right. You're, you're essentially you're essentially playing a game of Farkle with them. I have no idea what that is. It's an old dice game where you're just trying to, you know, I know the rules, but explaining them is pointless. Okay. You're playing an old dice game. <laughs> I'll look it up after stream. Oh, dice poker. Kind of, sorta. Ah, that makes it's, more it's, sense. It's it's like. It's like a very rudimentary form of Yahtzee, is the best way I can put it. Okay. I gotcha. Yeah. I learned it from Kingdom Come Deliverance. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and roll me a base d20 for luck. That is an 8. Well, you lost this round. All right. <laughs> Come to Papa. <laughs> Luck like that, you better be buying the drinks later. So you're all here for the ceremony. I, I guess that makes sense why you'd be here, since you know, one of the reasons it happened. Mm-hmm. Not to mention if something goes wrong, we're here as well. What do you mean? What, what do you think can go wrong? Well, you know, security purposes and everything like that. Better be safe than sorry. <laughs> you like that drow poking around? There's a drow in town? Oh, it's just a stupid rumor. They you say that... They, pop, they, they, they say that they pop up around the north and... I, I mean, you know. Rumor has it. That they serve the old master. Mm. Usually they're an omen of death. But with so many of us wandering in here, I think it's just a cruel joke. Here's Northern helping. folk heard about our traditions and decided to poke fun at us. We aren't as welcome as we'd like to be, but... Luckily, the lovely Miss Vileblood over there has been keeping the peace when things start to rabble about. She definitely knows how to... definitely keeps the peace. <laughs> I'd like to give her a piece. Says, uh, says, the man, says the man in brown hair under his breath. Uh, do I hear that? Uh, yes, but more importantly... <laughs> he kind of jabs back. Ah! <laughs> Reaches she behind his back, pulls out a small blade. <gasps> mm. uh, uh, uh. She heard you too, didn't she? She is staring daggers at this table. Quite literally. She's throwing them as well. She's throwing them, yeah. I was about to say. Yeah, oh, shit, she saw me. I was like, ah, fuck, she saw me. Denier yeah, gives a little happy little smile and he waves. Oh. He kind of sets the knife on the table. Tink! And it flies off the table back onto her armor. Sick. Scary power. It, yep. it really I is. Bet you won't, I bet you won't say that again, will you? Nope. Nope. Colla he he kind of like falls asleep on the table. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And it was in the middle of his turn, too. Yeah. You okay there, Heinrich? You wanna wanna get up? <laughs> <laughs> um. Basically, basically, the other man next to him is just going to like conjure in the air, cast a uh, cast a small spell on him. <gasps> Ow! Yeah, you feeling all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, you, you've heard basically what these guys seems to know. Go ahead and roll me another d20 if you want to keep playing with them. 
<laughs> I'll play for for a little bit, but you know. Um, How much is a little bit? How many rounds here? Ooh. I'd say three rounds uh, after after everything gets said and done. All right. Well, you lost this round again. You're down ten gold. Okay. And one final round. Eighteen. Yeah, you won that round. So you got five of your gold back. Yeah. So actually, I'm only no, you got, you, Yeah, actually, no, you got ten gold back. So you, because you're playing two of both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you broke even. Good job. Tell you what, lads, it's been fun. But if there's rumors, I want to kind of look into it. Mm. I appreciate both of your time, and do be careful. She sees all, she hears all. Asmo, real Asmo actually goes, yeah, she does, and she'll probably know what's going on. Ah, oh, boy, here we go. Asmo just cracks his neck and starts to walk towards her. But like the as most you, awkward. The as most you turn awkward. around to look at her, she's actually sitting there talking to Barristan Kench, and he's just kind of like doing that jock lean against a post while talking to her pose. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, Asmo's gonna approach. So, yes, we have burned quite a few in our... Oh! I see you've taken the armor off. Hello. What? Uh, vile blood looks towards you. Mm. Hello. Inquisitor tricks of vile blood. It's been a time. Yes, it has, Asma. It's, it's got most of it right. It's surprising. Um... I was going to ask you if, uh, well, since we're going to be looking into that little goblin issue you have, I was just curious what you knew, Inquisitrix Vileblood, because as someone just said, nothing escapes your sight or your ears. Hmm. See? Well, all I know is the rumors that are being bandied about. Some say they've seen goblins wandering around near the forest to the... West, some say they've seen some to the south, and some say that a drow has been stalking the streets. Mm. Though so far it's only been rumors, and very few people have come across any actual evidence. I think that some northerners are playing a bit of a prank, trying to dissuade some of mm. my people from staying. Ah, uh, well. Well, thank you for your uh, candid opinion. Mm-hmm. And Kench? Yes. This kind of gives him a look. Good luck. Raising his eyebrows and asthma walks away. <laughs> to you as well, companion. <laughs> so anyway, as I was saying, I once burnt five in a day. <laughs> yeah, it's as just you rumors. wander away. He... Just rumors, Denier. That. Well, it's something to go off of. Well, yeah, it is. Oh, let's try out the other place. All right. Meanwhile, uh, Wolfgang and T-Wig, you have wandered outside of town towards the small clearing of trees. You find yourself in a very small forested area. Birds are kind of chirping in the air. Nothing seems off about this place. It's just a nice little forest. This is pretty nice. I figured you'd like it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, can I roll a survival check to look for any disturbances in the foliage? I would like to help with this. Yeah, sure. Okay. 22. All right, and Wolfgang with the assist. That gives me advantage, so it's still 22. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, sorry, I didn't know if this... All right. Yeah, it's the uh, so help action. 22, 22. Uh, as you're looking around, you're 
not seeing a whole lot to go off of that you would call a disturbance. You can definitely see that there's been signs of rain last night. Um, you do find a, uh, basically what seems to be a shuck, like a shucked leaf from a corn cob. Kind of littering I, the ground around here, though. I pick it up and I show it to Wolfgang. I have found the body. <laughs> Means our corn thieves must be walking through here. Avenge me! I will. I will. Just rest. Put it on the ground. <laughs> Pat it gently. Rest in peace, brave soul. I stand mm. up and kind of dust off my pants. So it looks like they went that way? Yeah, it looks like they right. went further south through the clearing. Or through the uh, little cropping of trees. Let's go ahead and keep going then. Okay. As you travel yeah. through this... Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah, Wolfgang, I had a question. Hmm. Um, you know, at nighttime, I don't sleep. And, um, it gives me a lot of time to you know, think about stuff a lot. Mm hmm Um, I learned that all things, usually, with the exception of funguses and plants and other things, well, it takes two of them to make a little version of them. Being sort of looks back slowly. Um. Correct. Uh, Wolfgang, where is the human puppy's mother? Remember that tree, Cherry? Yeah. Well, not... She's beneath there. Oh, wait, she's the one who's sleeping beneath Cherry? She's dead, Twig. She's dead. Twig kind of steps forward. But she's not gone. No, she's not gone. But she's dead. I'm, I'm sorry. You didn't know. But now I do. I, um... I hope I get to meet her someday. <laughs> I hope I get to see her again, too. You will. I'm sure. Well, till that time I got our son to manage. So, that's keeping me occupied. Can't see her quite just yet. No, but I think she sees you. Like, a lot. I hope so. I know so. I give a wink. All right, let's go. Um, I guess, should we be quiet for this? Because we don't want them to attack us, right? I mean, they're just... They're just bugbears, but, uh... I'd rather we have Asmo and Denier with us if we do decide to attack. So let's just go ahead and keep this quiet for now, and then if we find anything, we'll go ahead and meet back up with Asmo and Denier back at the tower. Okay. Uh... I will get down low into the foliage and move forward, following, uh... Any corpses we find, our fallen corn brethren. All right. Uh, you continue over towards the mountain, and as you get toward the mountain, you uh, see a figure kind of wandering in the distance. You can see the, like, kind of a shining glint coming off of them as they're kind of wandering around this hillside. I will raise my arm to stop Wolfgang. I freeze. Can I roll a perception check to see if I can see it? 
uh, your natural perception saw it. Uh, at least you see the kind of glint of this okay. figure moving around. Wolfgang, you can kind of see it too. Not nearly as well, but go ahead and roll me perception checks if you want to try to get a clearer view. Sure thing. Ooh, Modified good. 20. 16. Yeah, you can you can tell it's definitely kind of a figure wandering around. Looks like it's by itself. All you can kind of see is kind of a glint coming off of it. You're not sure if it's... You, you think it's armor, whatever is glinting on them. Solo act. It's lonely. Should I transform into something and approach? You're not, your animal forms aren't exactly inconspicuous. But they still have a silhouette. Okay. All right, I'll be close by. Okay, I am going to turn into a... Oh, I have a deer. Perfect. The white-tailed doe that I think was killed. I'm not sure. Uh, I think we saw it in our travels. I'm going to turn into a deer. Yeah, the doe was not killed. They killed a buck. That's right. That's right. I couldn't scan that, unfortunately. Ah. Uh, I'll turn into a deer. And I will just kind of stride forward nonchalantly and pretend to be like eating some foliage on the ground. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me a... Let's see. What would this be? Probably a performance check. Okay. Arthur Morgan in the distance hallucinating. Ten. Middle ground. Yeah, you you beat it. This guy doesn't seem to pay you any attention as you're kind of wandering forward. Looks like a gentleman in uh, silver and white. And as you're kind of wandering around. Yep, definitely a human. Holding a spear, just kind of patrolling around what seems to be a small dirt path that leads up the mountain. Okay. How old would you say he is? Uh, probably in his late teens, early 20s. Okay. Post-adolescent sim human. Any symbols on the armor at all? Um, yeah, with your passive perception, you'd probably make out that the uh, armor seems to, like, uh, on his pauldrons, like the little shoulder pads off the armor, they're like a little symbol of a hammer kind of emblazoned in the side. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. He's like, does he seem like he's walking or is he at a post? Uh, well, right now he's just kind of like setting, like jabbing his spear into the ground and kind of like leaning, like kind of using it to sort of lean against. I will kind of bring up the ears when I hear the sounds and then, uh, yeah, as a deer would gallop away, but towards Wolfgang. He Hello? pays you, he pays you some mind as you gallop away, but he doesn't seem to notice that you're made of metal just yet. I go back up to Wolfgang and I, Oh God, I can't talk. Um, I will... What can I do as a deer? You can nod and shake your head. I can, yeah. I uh, I kind of jut my, my head towards his direction. Jut, jut. This is who we're looking for. Shake the head. Hmm. Might be worth finding out who it is, though. I shrug. <laughs> Bring it up the, the legs. <laughs> All right. I'm going to crawl slowly on the ground. I'm going to cast Prestidigitation three times. Okay. I'm going, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make my clothes dirty. Okay. Just so I, just so, you know, I, I blend in and I'm not wearing stark white. <laughs> Gotcha, you're, you're making camo. Good, because I was going to make you roll <laughs> stealth with disadvantage. Now I'll just make you roll stealth. Yeah. Which actually not terrible with. Six. Oh, boy. But that was This terrible. guy seems completely oblivious. Like, he's just yawning and nodding off, looking in a completely wrong direction as you approach. I am the master of stealth. 
<laughs> You're like holding up a single leaf in front of you. You just have two whoopee cushions on both of your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna walk um I'm gonna walk like right next to Wolfgang. I'm gonna get probably about thirty feet away from him and I'm going to activate my uh angelic sight to cast detect magic. Alright. As you look over this man, he does not seem to have anything magical on him whatsoever. Hmm. Nothing in the surrounding area either, I assume. Hmm, nothing that's sticking out. Not within, like, 30 feet of you, which I believe is the distance of that. Yeah, 30 feet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can we get a good look oh. at the guy? Oh, but uh, something. The dragons roar over the hills, soaring. I'm gonna look towards Wolfgang something. as this guy is singing. Just kind of like blank stare towards Wolfgang. I'm gonna try to get a good look at this guy. Bellowing fire and breathing it whole, consuming the lands and making them whole. Something, something. Monstrous abyss, something, 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 something. God damn! I wish that bard would come back. Would I recognize that song? Uh, go ahead and give me a intelligence check, just a general. Okay. Eight. Nah, not from any of the like. You you've heard a lot of bards at a lot of taverns. This isn't something that kind of sticks out to you. That or this guy's really bad at doing it. Mm. I'm going to look to Wolfgang and point at myself and then point at the guy. And then point at myself twice and then point to the guy. Hoof him. Hoof, hoof him. Just like a dog pointing. I'm going to like take a couple steps forward and then just kind of look for affirmation from Wolfgang. Go ahead and nod slowly. Not understanding entirely what T Wig is trying to do, but okay, I'm gonna walk forward. Uh, is this guy like you said? He's on like a path, like a dirt path or something. Yeah, it seems to be a small path that leads up the mountain. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to the path and get a clear like line of sight with him, and he'll probably clearly see me. Oh, Maybe... hey, that deer's back. Hold on. Oh, he knows something's up. What the hell? What are, he he kind of pulls his, he pulls his, yeah, he pulls his spear out. What are you? Weird deer. I make a deer noise as best as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, go ahead and do a performance check. Okay. 16, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Sounds very deer-like. Although there's definitely like a slight jingle to it. Okay, you still look fucking weird. Holding his spear with a very poor stance. I'm just gonna like like a like a excited horse kind of like trot up to him. Stay 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 back! Stay back! Ah! I'm going to he's kinda, he's kinda, him. <laughs> he's kinda wander he's kinda stepping back like really nervously. Okay. Trips and okay. drops his spear. Ah! I'm gonna like lean down and smell him as he falls over. Don't eat me! Lick him. Even though I don't have a tongue technically. <laughs> yeah, the the metal abrasive surface in your mouth just like Why was that wet? He dropped his spear. What was that? Yeah, he yeah, he, he yeah he dropped his spear when he tripped. He rolled a I, I rolled a nat one for keeping his composure. Oh wow, scariest deer! Uh, I'm gonna pick that up, the spear up in my mouth. I'm gonna walk down the path almost like a dog trying, like Lassie trying to lure the guy. Um, I'm gonna like walk forward, like, haha, I got your spear. What are you gonna yeah, do? Yeah, he now? kind of reaches out. Hey, come, I need, I need that. Oh, God. Oh, I, I, oh. He kind of starts running. Okay. After you. I'm gonna kind of like keep, like, every time, like, I'm gonna move and then, like, stop so he catches up and then keep moving before he can catch me. Bounding. Ah. And then I will lead him towards Wolfgang. 
I can't abandon my post. Come on, you weird deer. Give me that back. Uh, the moment I reach Wolfgang, I'm going to drop the spear at, on his lap. I, ah! Who are you? He reaches to his side and uh, pulls out a small knife. Ah! Uh. <laughs> I'm still hidden on the ground. Well, at this point, he's right next to you. Yeah, oh. I dropped the spear on you. I led him to you. Oh, yeah. That, uh, okay. So uh, I'm going to cast uh, True Strike on him, first of all. Is this weird deer your pet? Why are you pointing at me? Oh, no reason. Swimming directly. I'm... Hello. Ah! Stay right there. <clears throat> okay. You're not allowed here. Really? Says who? It's just the Baron? I'm supposed to stop people from coming here. The mines are closed right now. The mines? Okay. Yeah. With the event going on, we're supposed to keep people out for right now. Just to, just to make sure everything's on the up and up. Everybody's supposed to be out. So that means you too. Whoever you are. I'll use this. Mm-hmm. Please don't make me. Can I have my spear back? I go ahead and kick him his spear back. He p he picks it up, huh, holds it with like really poor form, like his elbows like back behind him a little bit. All right, I despawn requiem. Right, so here under the Baron's orders. Uh huh. So, so are we, sorta. The deer shrugs. Sorta. We're out here looking for uh, goblins or maybe dark elves. If you've seen any of those, some information might help. No, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just out here. I, 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 I'm just supposed to make sure that people don't go in the mines right now. That's, that's all. Can I roll that's, an insight That's my check? job. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Fourteen. He's telling the truth. No. Okay. What for? Well, Why are the mines so dangerous? Well, it's not that they're dangerous. They're just like people, like they just. People aren't supposed to be working in them right now. They're supposed to be out helping with, with the festivities. A lot of, well, I, mm. I'm normally a miner. I, I, I don't really know what I'm doing with this. I'm just, they needed extra security for the event. And I, 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 I could use with better pay. And mm. if I show that I'm good at it, then I can do it full time. And then I don't have to be in there withering away like me dad. That's where you get all your silver, I'm guessing. Oh, well, yeah, I mean... Or blacksmiths craft the armor, and yeah, we were we're we're silver miners. That's what we do. And those mm. of us that do a good job might might get a full time job as guards. I'm just trying to do my job, do good. Well, since you don't have any uh, information on the goblins or the dark elf running through the forest, uh, there's, there's, I guess we're done with you. There's elves in that forest. Probably one. If you haven't seen any goblinoids with them, then we don't really care about them. Well, I ain't seen no goblins here, sir. They've they've been... Well, the Kench has burned them out of these hills long ago. Yeah, well, there's more. The deer's eyes narrow at that statement. Either way. What's wrong with your deer, by the way? It looks strange and metal-like. Gonna reach into my bag. Pull out a gold coin. I'm gonna hand it to him. Oh, well, thank you, sir. But that's that's for not caring about that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, well thank, thank I, 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 okay. Kind of uh, puts it in a little pouch at his side. Th 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 thank you for your contribution, sir. Mm-hmm. One more thing. That song you were humming. What is it? Oh, something that some bards passing through here a while ago was singing. I really liked it. It's about the formation of the lands and the war from, well, the war that we just got out of, I suppose. Hmm. You know who sang it? Oh, just some bard, as far as I'm aware. I don't really, didn't really catch his name. Hmm. Elf? Black hair? Uh, might have been half elf. I, I I don't really know. Never really seen too many full blooded elves till this week. Hmm. Interesting enough, he's in town for this. Oh, well, I guess we'll find out later. Well, that well, 
Oh, okay. You should probably get back to your post. Uh, yeah, yes, you're right. Yes, I, I got to do my job. Uh, so, um, if, if, if there are goblins or something out here and... Well, I, I might not be equipped to handle them if I, if, if I find anything. You said you're working for the Baron, right? So if I went to you, I'd just be doing me diligence if I were to have seen something, right? And, yeah. and maybe if I pass the information on to you, you might tell the Baron I helped out and maybe that I did a little bit more than just told you. What's your name, son? Uh... Sorry, sorry, uh, sir. My name is uh, w William. W William Minor. <laughs> William, William Minor. Part of the mine. I will I, be sure to remember that. I come from a long line of miners. That's just me family name. I can tell. Well, yeah. if you do any see anything, William Minor, come to me. I'll put in a good word with you. I'll, I'll let you know then, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, take care of that animal. I think it might be sick. I make a deer noise again. It seems to be acting fine, but it's just I, I don't I never seen one like it. Is that why you ain't at it? Yes, that's exactly why. All right. Well, I'll, I'll keep watch out here for you then. All right, come on, Tiwig. I will follow Wolfgang without breaking eye contact with this guy. Just like <laughs> you walk on. backwards as a deer. Yeah, I walk backwards and still like look at him. Uh... I will drop the form though once we're out of eye shot. Man, that guy's really scared of herbivores. I think he's just wasn't keen to the fact that he just saw a deer made of metal and leaves. Hmm. All possibilities. <laughs> Either way, we still don't, we're still not any closer to these hobgoblins, not hobgoblins, bugbears. Hmm, yeah. Maybe I should look for more tracks. Uh, possibly. Uh, he didn't seem to say anything. I don't know how he's been... How long he's been standing out here. Starting mm. to get kind of late in the day. Mm. What do you think? I could look maybe a little bit and then we could head back if I find nothing. Let's do that. Let's do one more check and then if we don't find anything, we'll go ahead and head back to Denier's Tower. Okay. All right. Uh, Each of you roll me a survival check back in the woods as you're heading back. 24. 19. All right. There's cool. definitely, like, aside from, like, the corn shucks and things like that, while it did rain the previous night, uh, according to the corn, it was a bit of a storm blowing some stuff around. You can definitely make out the clear track of a goblinoid. And it it's definitely a goblin itself, like a very small footprint. Okay. All right, we'll point this up to Wolfgang. Wolfgang, look! Hmm. Smaller than a bugbear. Might be an actual goblin. Still something. Want to follow it? Does it lead anywhere, or is it just like a singular footprint? You can only find one track, unfortunately. Okay. But you do know that something's in the area. Hmm. The footprint seems to be leading uh, actually away from the mountains out west. Where it does look like there are a few more wooded areas. So it's leading west? Yeah. Right. Let's go back. And then we'll come here tomorrow morning with the whole gang. Okay. Right. Denier and Asmo, as the day kind of wore on, you're you're not getting a lot of information out of the townsfolk. Just the just the same rumors over and over again. Uh, so eventually, you just kind of decide to 
get some food and then head back to the fortress that you made. So you right. never need to have a... You can just always have a place to live in from now on, huh? As long as I have the space for it, I don't know if it'll... Uh, if the summoning of it will affect the terrain or not. Probably That's one not. thing I'm still going to have to test on. Um, most you might just flatten it out, hell. The farmer might thank you. Well, so what I'm thinking about is more along the lines of if I try to do it in a cave, if it works like uh, Tom's doorknob or if it just... Mm -hmm won't appear. Huh. That's a good point. Huh? You'll find out eventually, won't you? As just yeah. kind of like puts his feet up on the couch. You're going to like the washroom that I've made. Could oh, really? Set it up. Yeah. Why is that? I, I put something in there special just for you. As you're talking about this, the door opens and in walks uh, T-Wig and Wolfgang. Hello. Hey, how'd you guys held up? We have found goblin tricks. Well, it's better than what we found. Guess who we saw today? Who's that? Inquisitrix vile blood. She stabbed mm. a guy. Yeah, she did. Well, for that, I'm not surprised. Kind of her thing. And get this, Barristan Kench was hitting on her. Well, that's interesting. Why would he hit her? Now hit on, it's like flirt. Uh, try and engage with a... a coupling ritual. Oh, I understand this. Mm, yes, yeah. I realize I gotta like kind of sum up things in a certain way so you learn more. Thank you, I appreciate that. I'll try my best. No, so, there, I seem out of it. Just a lot of my mind. Like, uh, like, uh, like maybe like a person who you like? What do you ask that? Oh, no reason. Okay. Hey, uh, Wolf can you sit down for a sec? Actually, all of you sit down. I need to tell you something. All right. I'm thinking about bringing it up. A couple nights ago, I got visited by someone in my apartment. You know, the one that's overlooking Meat House. Yeah. How did you manage to get that thing anyway? I uh, asked for a favor from the... How did I get that? Did I just ask for a favor from the... the uh, ba uh, ba basically, it was uh, part of your payment for your... Hmm. For what you did for the country, essentially. No, I got... <laughs> I got that beautiful top of the building place because uh what we did up north. So. You specifically requested near the meat house, didn't you? That's not really relevant right now, but yes. <laughs> Fair enough. So after the job, after I came out and uh came out to the party and came back home. You won't believe it was waiting for me. It rhymes with boo. Was it you? It, it, yes, it actually was, but not in the way you think, I don't think. Oh, no. You showed up in my apartment. I'm wondering I told. How I told. I don't so mess. I told her about that. That's why I had the private meeting with her. Oh, Lady Tia. Tia. Lady Tia, there we go. Jeepers, there it is. I have it circled and everything. Lady Tia. That's what I told her about. You showed up for two reasons. To watch me. You wanted the sword. The one I took as a joke. Yeah, the, I'm paying for that now. The, he wants it back. Of, the sword of dragon's bane? Yeah, 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 I'm not getting that back from Lady Tia. So he wants it. The fool's errand. Yeah, so he wants it back or else. You'd have to steal it back. And if you go stealing from the royals, you're on. Yeah, it. yeah, you think I would be that dumb? Like, mm. I'm telling you this. Oh, come on now. Secondly, 
Asma holds up the his hand, and you can see the ring turned around in his palm. I have to brand a hundred people I kill with this, or else. Feel like I'm not going to get a direct answer to this, but or else what? Oh, well, that, I think that's that's probably what he loves about it. Or else could be anything, but it's going to be bad. Do well, that's why that. I'm distracted. It's why I'm distracted. Brand. Yeah. As just pulls open the shirt. I don't know if you've seen this, T-Wig. There's a brand on his chest. It's the same symbol as the as the ring. I just tilt my head. I don't know what to do in this scenario. Best I can do is get the leader of the Dead Eyes for him. That's all he wants. It's the guy who ordered his death. Otherwise, I'm screwed. I don't feel right about putting that brand on a hundred corpses. No, neither do I, but if I don't, what do I do? For all I know, he flicks his fingers and this brand on my chest, which can't be gotten rid of, by the way, just kills me. Mm. Between a rock and a hard place here. What happens if you die with the brand? Seeing as how it was put upon him by a man who can control the forces of life and death itself, I'd say a couple of things could happen. You could either come back as a zombie or a revenant. Oh my god. That was just like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, that was like, oh god, why'd you just have to say it? That's exactly it. Or mm -hmm. you because you come back as a revenant or whatever, or what else could happen? It could take Mark. your body directly to him. It'd say that he wants your flesh. That's true. He wanted my bones. My snake bones. Uh no, he wanted your flesh. Damn it. He wanted my flesh. My mm -hmm. snake flesh. He wanted Daenerys bones. Yeah, that's a weird thing to bring up, but okay. And I hope this guy doesn't meet me. He's going to be really disappointed. Your lack of bones. Meet bones. You fascinating. Well, technically, you have a skeleton on. They'll probably try and drape him in the. Anyways, the point is, I'm between a rock and a hard place here, and I just didn't know how to tell you guys this. Seems like it. Um, All I can do is pursue my leads on the dead eyes, and if we're fighting anything, I have to mark it. Or else. I'm scared what or else can do. I am Demir. Yes. You're good at making magic. Can you make magic go away? Not yet. If I was good at that kind of thing, I would have turned our friend back in the capital. Back into his old self. I'm good at countering it when it's being casted, but I'm not good at breaking it. Yet. Because... Well, your f that person you talk about is not the only one who can really mess with death, per se. Mm -hmm. No, there's... I have a spell that might help? No. Oh. Um, this is going to sound really strange and, um, kind of scratch the back of my head. I have a spell that essentially, if you're willing, would let me kill you instantly. I don't know if I... Hall room that. turns. <laughs> but it will only last one hour, so you'll be dead for an hour. And then you'll come back. Um, like, what? Mm-hmm. And, uh... As Every, most. But here's the trick, though. Every single inspection and spell that detects whether or not you're dead doesn't work. It claims that you are dead. Asma just kind of looks around the room. Uh, ew. Well, he's going to be well and truly dead for an hour. Yep.
But can I roll an Arcana check on that, Lanny? Go for it. Twenty-six. Nice. Nice. Nineteen. Could I tell what the spell is with that check? You can. Okay. It's Feign Death. Yeah, that's what I figured it was. Uh, Denier, with your knowledge of Solomon and the information that uh, he's asking other people, like, he's asking people to brand, like, to ba basically he's asking Asmo to brand corpses with this symbol, you think that might be a bad idea. Yeah, putting that brand on those corpses is a bad idea, dude. No, no. Casting that spell on somebody with oh. that brand is a bad oh. idea. Okay. Oh, okay. That's Then I'll, I'll take it back. Yeah, um, you don't want to cast that spell, especially okay. on Asmo with that brand. That would cause catastrophic effects. Okay, then I will not do that. I just figured I'd put that on the table. And I pat the table. <sighs> Appreciate it, Tewig, but yeah, I kind of want to live. Ugh. Either way, what's to say that when you're done branding these 100 corpses, he won't just kill you anyway? He's the kind of guy to do that, but he definitely will if I don't. <sighs> Quite simple, Wolfgang. He doesn't have the the head of the head of the dead eyes. Until that is done, as most still useful to him. This is probably just a loyalty test or something to prove that he has power over Asmo. Or that he's bored. This My could wig. just be a... What do you call it? He could just be fucking with me for all I know. Getting Brandon, more... it could mean nothing. That's you the could... thing, though. You is watching me. And he can go right invisible. That means he's in the city. Hmm. So I can't say could... this, but if we captured him, when we get back, who knows what he knows? But I can't know about it or be present. In case he can, like, see through his eyes or some shit. Which he probably can do. Dealing with a god here. Oh, god, we're dealing with gods. Asma just kind of puts his hands in his face. His, like, his face, like, ah. Uh. I don't know. It needs something. We need to do something about this. I need to, at least. I just need you guys to know. This man, we worked together in the past. Seems I actually like, like a, you, schmucks. Seems like a curse. Oh, if oh yeah, it's totally... It's totally a curse. If we could somehow find a way to get someone powerful enough to remove the curse. Get yeah, inviting someone of equivalent power to that guy. We know too. The Archmage. Well, the question is, will they although, do it? Yeah, that's a good question. That's a good point. The Archmage is sort of questionable loyalty when it comes to Solomon. No, yeah. If well, I wasn't me, referring to him. Out of character, does did we find out that the Archmage actually works for him or reveres him? Uh, yes. The Archmage has been waiting for a thousand years for him to return. Yeah, he'll know what that symbol is. So, I... Oh, yeah. So we know this, our, though? It, we, our characters know this? Yeah, we know this. Yeah, yeah he, he refers to him as his master. Yeah, I don't know if I really trust the guy who refers to the man who branded me as his master. No. Absolutely not. He can never know what we know. Uh... I was more thinking Tom and Lush. Well. But I don't know if they'll get involved. Yeah. If Probably they are not. gods as they claim, they're not get rid of curse gods. They're ones like what, what he's storytelling? He claims it. What was Lush again? Revelry. What revelry? They like partying. Yeah. Sex. 
sure. Oh boy. <laughs> That's my... Oh boy. Either way. Straight I tell you this. Let me, uh... Let me do some thinking. Um, we know two gods who are unable to help, but I might know one that can. Yes, go on. So cryptic all the time. God. Well, you know, as was clearly ha as was clearly anxious. <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> I've, I've, my fucking eyes glow with like holy energy. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Would I would I know more about the life god from you know teaching in the school and like attending lectures and stuff like that? You know that uh, the god of life is the basis for pretty much all living things, including the life that flows forth from the planet. You know that there is always a constant balance between life and death. And that, yeah, for, for the most part, life is a relatively neutral god, aside from the fact that everything sprung forth from life, including most of the uh, realm-dwelling gods. Realm-dwellers. Well, if none of the other gods are willing to help us, maybe the god of gods can. Oh... Sometimes in my dreams, I hear voices. Maybe tonight I'll try to contact him, it. See if I can learn anything. But one thing, Asmo. I can't let bodies with that brand fall into Solomon's hands. I will not allow this. Then I hope to God, your God responds. I ain't dying. I've got something I want to accomplish before that happens. Okay? I'll, I'll do everything I can, Asmo. And I'll do everything I can. Asmo gets up and kind of walks out the door and closes it. Asmo's pissed. He's going to go for a walk. He's going for a walk. He's tired. Why is he mad? What? Asmo, Asmo's, Asmo's mad because it's like Asmo doesn't know what to do in this scenario. Oh, okay. As was, he was, as he was hoping that the group talk would help. Maybe. At least they know about it now. Yeah. All right. So it's <sighs> night now. Yeah. The, the sun is officially set and Asmo is kind of wandering back into town. I'm assuming for a drink. Yeah, I would like much. to follow him. All right. Do you wish to follow him stealthily or just in general? Uh, I'm going to turn into an animal, I think. Okay. And follow. I just, is it wrong that I just imagine Tiwig just like, doot, doot, you know, with the fingers up, like sneaky? Dink, 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 dink. Uh, I'm going to, actually, this will work great. I'm going to turn into the dog in the park that I found. I'm going to turn into a Mastiff and follow him. Good okay. breed, good breed. Boof. Boof. Borf. They boof, right? Yes. They're, they're boofers. Oh, yeah. They're big dogs. They're <laughs> Mastiffs Oof. are boofers. Oh yeah, they're they're so funny. I love them so much. All right, Tiwig uh, opens the door and trots after Asmo. Oh, I'm gonna run after him. I want to catch up to him as soon as possible. I don't want him being by himself. Asmo, there's a dog next to you, a metallic dog. What Tiwig? Asmo's got his he kind of like got his hands in his pockets, going like, "Man, don't let me left alone." <laughs> Shoulders shrugged up. Bar. <laughs> okay. I know. I stormed out there. I'm pissed. Bark. It's just really complicated because me and him don't really get along all the time. And for the first time in a long time, I'm actually really scared. Bark. I'll be fine. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, you can walk along with me. I nod. Does your tail wag? Not actually, no. Okay. I'm kind of just. Yeah, I'm basically acting as guard dog at this point. Neutral dog. Want, yeah, I just don't want him to be by himself. Definitely going to keep my eyes out for any suspicious figures as we're walking. All right, well, you guys wander into town and probably find a table at a bar. And yeah, you, you garner a lot of attention, T-Wig, but Asmo probably oh. shoes him off. Yeah, I'm going to be... special dog, get away. <laughs> 
I'm gonna try and be as you know as no, I don't want to be standoutish as possible, as incon in inconspicuous as possible as we do this. All right. Uh, meanwhile, Denier, Wolfgang, you're still back at the fortress. What do you wish to do with your evening? I have a couple ideas, but it depends on what Connor wants to do. I'm going to try to contact my patron. All right. Uh, give me what would be good for this. Probably insight. Okay. 19. Go, uh, you go to like kind of a private area, just somewhere where you can be alone and you attempt to meditate. You close your eyes and you as you do, you clear your mind and just try to tap into some of that inner light and focus in on that. You see the face of your son kind of giggling and waving his arms about. <laughs> it's more than that, though. It doesn't feel like a memory. This feels like a... almost like a you get this warm sensation all over your body. And not just that warm cockles of your heart feeling that you get when you're, you know, with your son. This is more of a, a feeling. Like you're in that bright, warm space. And as the air around starts to move, you realize that you're not in that blinding white sphere that you normally find yourself in when you're in contract with your patron. But you're actually in the sky. And as the white clouds start to part away, you see these two little wings off the side of your son. He looks at you and his eyes glow. Behind him is the mountain of Platinum Peak. And off even further beyond that is the golden and red sands of the West. Okay. And as you, stare into your, as you stare into your son's eyes, you feel as if you're being drawn in. And then you snap back. <sighs> And here's where we'll take a break. All right, so uh, basically for the next couple of days, as more and more people are starting to get into town, what is it that everybody wants to try to do? I know you are uh, you found the goblin footprint yesterday. And you got you four days the till the summit. Okay. Want to follow that footprint, boy? Yours? I think we want to follow that footprint. Also, um, I will say this just uh, on an aside. I am not leaving uh, Asbo's side at night. I will be always sitting, like, Slavic squatting next to him as he sleeps. Uh, can I I'm help sure you? that he is safe. Can I, can I help? He's yeah, just it, sit, Asbo wakes up, can I help you? No. Okay, then. Asbo just puts the face mask back <laughs> on his eyes. <laughs> Uh, I'd say I'd say out of character we should follow that footprint. It's the only lead we have at this yeah. point. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, as you wake up, you know you, you hear a bit more noise coming out of the town. It seems like there's some more people coming in. Um, as you're getting closer to the summit, but you begin to wander out to the west towards uh, basically a series of small forests out there. So what's the over under and them being the hobgoblins that wandered this way? Well, it is a tiny footprint, so... Yeah, a little bit less than we thought, actually. Uh, it seems like they have some regular goblins with them. Uh, it wasn't the only batch. Didn't that guy come to town and take half of them one way? Hmm. 
I figured he'd be only be interested in the bugbears, but who knows, maybe. That's the only footprint we saw, though. Looked like it was heading west. Yeah, you can see off in the distance there's some clouds kind of gathering in the sky. I will cast Druidcraft to see what the weather will be. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, looks like yeah. sometime within the... There's going to be some scattered showers over the next day. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just imagine immediately you in front of a green screen. There's some scattered showers here. There is a here, 20... Uh, roll, there is a... <laughs> there is rolling a in from the southwest. Precipitation rolling from the southwest. Light oh, showers are predicted. It's a warm front coming in. And now Denier with sports. The balls got moved. <laughs> oh, shit. That's wild. <laughs> okay, so yeah. we have rain coming. Yeah, rain's coming in. Uh, you're wandering towards these forests. It takes you probably about 20 minutes to get out to this area that you believe to be the next spot where anything with that footprint heading that way would have gone. Okay. It's a slightly denser forest than the one out by the foothills. Oh, I feel right at home. Yeah, there's lots of foliage here. Animals, little chipmunks and squirrels wandering about, birds in the trees. There's a woodpecker out there somewhere. You can hear it. I will turn to, um, I'll turn to Denier. Uh, Do you think I should talk to one of these animals just to see if they've seen anything? Depends on how smart the animal is. Might be a good idea. Hmm. The trees also might have seen something. Well, that takes a lot more energy for me to do that with the trees. And last time it wasn't so great, so I kind of like to take a break from that. Okay. Um, I would like to seek Why, out these... Why, what happened? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Yikes. I would like... I would like As to see... just pulls up he... spare corn he has out. No! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I would like to seek out the smartest animal I can find in the nearest vicinity where I wouldn't lose the path. All right. Survival check. Okay. The big brain squirrel. Ten. Oh. Accurate. <laughs> you, f you find a squirrel. It's kind of like hunkering down around an acorn, looking left and right. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Squirrels are kind of, you know, I kind of like tug at my collar. All right. I'll cast speak with animals. Who are you? Don't take my nut. Mine. It's Your mine. nut is yours. Nut I is am mine. not one. I am not one to take one's nut. Okay, good. I will not breach squirrel law. Good. Need to find a new spot. New spot hide. Old spot not good. New spot. What happened to your old spot? Eh, taken. Taken Bye. by mean. Hmm. Hmm. What does what does mean? Taken by mean what? Hmm. Thing. Thing. Weird thing. Strange thing. Different. Took my took my spot. Two legs? Mm. Yeah, two legger. Regular two, two legger. legger. I see. Hmm. Took my spot. Under tree. Good roots. Good roots. Good place to hide. Could good you, place to hide nuts. You, good yeah, excellent. I'm glad. Uh could you point with your little squirrel hands which way that would be? Hmm. 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 Old spot. Old spot. Where'd old spot go? Old spot. Old spot was that way. Old spot was over that way. He points down uh, deeper into the forest. Hmm. Under okay. big tree. Big tree. Good tree. Good tree. Hiding good nuts there. Under a tree. I see. Hiding yeah. good nuts. Excellent. Speaking of good nuts, one second. I'm going to walk over to, to uh, Asmo. Asmo. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> yeah, what's up? <clears throat> can, I, can I have some of that? S some of that corn. All right. Asmo just gans the other half of the cob. Thank you. I'm going to take that to the squirrel. I know it is not nut, but it is like a seed, which is kind of like the same thing. Hmm. 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 Smell familiar. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Kind of like reaches out and tries to pull some of the kernels off. <sniffs> hmm. Good. Hmm. Good. I like. I like. Not good as nut, though. That's fair. That's a good distinction. But you can have this. Thank you for your help. Hmm. He, start he starts to kind of like paw at it. And as he does... Let's see. A raccoon comes up and starts tugging at it. No, no, I'm just gonna like with the other hand push the raccoon away. Back off. 
I can hear him too. That's consistent with all the animals, apparently, I think. I want it! It's mine! It's mine! I want it! I want it! Back off! Back I... off, Mr. Raccoon! He had it first. I am giving it. Actually, here. How about this? I'll split it in half again. A lot of animals in this forest. <laughs> While that's happening, a chipmunk comes up and steals the acorn from behind him. No! <laughs> Sucker! Ah! ah! Bastard! <laughs> I will leave them to their devices and rejoin the party. The squirrel runs off chasing the chipmunk. Come back, you motherfucker! I run like I started a fight in like a tavern. I just run up and go, we got to get out of here. <laughs> the raccoon's running off with the corn cob. Ha <laughs> victory! It's this oh. way. The squirrel told me. All right. Uh... Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. That was wild. That's what just... Of course, we're in the wild. Oh my. <laughs> hey. You begin wandering further into the forest. Um, go ahead and make a survival check so you can find this tree that this guy was talking about. Okay. Someone want to help me with this? Yeah, I'll help. Okay. There you go. Oh, 15. That's still not bad, though. <laughs> As you're wandering in, you're having a hard time spotting, like, the trees themselves, but you do come across a uh, another husk of corn. It looks like a discarded, gobbled-up ear. Uh-oh. So you're definitely getting close. I, I hold it up and I point it to the rest of the party. Ah. Uh, see, there was a Bit of a corn theft the other day. I figured he would have told us that during the walk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as you, as you were conferring with information yesterday, you're all up to date on what everybody else knows. All right, Aswell just kind of pulls out his blades and slowly creeps forward. Wait, I have an idea. I will cast Pass Without a Trace on us. Ooh. Uh, click What's that at? spell real quick, just to... Right there. Veil of Shadows and Silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions from detection. For the duration, each creature you choose within 30 feet of you, including you, has a plus 10 dexterity stealth checks and can be track, uh, can't be tracked except by magical means. All right, so go ahead and roll your stealth and then add plus 10. That's 23 for me. 23. Another 23. All right. That's a 26. Ooh. 30. 30. All right. Yeah, even the animals don't seem to notice you as you're wandering by. As you're wandering forward, uh, those of you in the area can give me an investigation check to try to, since you're in the area... That's a nat zero. <laughs> oh, zero. 19. Soft 20. 22. Ooh, nice. All right. Uh, T-Wig and Denier and Wolfgang, you guys are all pretty onto this. Like, you're, you're, you actually found a couple of footprints around here, some disturbed grass and some more husks of corn and shucked ears. Asmo, on the other hand, you're like, wow, I'm so fucking quiet. What's this like? Stealth, 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 stealth. And they lead you to what seems to be a large maple tree. And as you look around it, you find that there's a small uh, hole beneath it that, like, there's a little opening in the roots. It doesn't look like it's a cave or anything like that, but it's definitely something a small animal would be able to fit in, or a small creature for that matter. Hmm. I, tur I turn to Wolfgang. Hmm. Do you want me to look up ahead? Sure, we'll be right behind you. <sighs> okay. Um, <clears throat> I will turn into... You know what? Heck, I'll turn into that raccoon I just met. It's it's big enough I, I, I can fit in yeah. as a raccoon, right? Okay. Yeah. I can send some light yeah. ahead of it as well. 
before I transform. Maybe inconspicuous. I believe I have dark vision with this. All right. I should. Yeah, as you uh, transform, your joints all compact in until you're this tiny little robo raccoon with a diff like a uh, a pattern on your tail similar to a raccoon, but the leaves are making up the uh, little black spatches, and the metal is you know the normal little tanuki raccoon oh, tail. That's cool. Aww. That's cool. Right. And you have two I little will. leaves for your raccoon mask. Oh, I love it. I'm like I'm like the car. I love it. All right. Um, let's see a second here. Mask dodge race is concentration. So I don't lose concentration, and I maintain that around me. So I get the bonus to that as I slip in. All right. You're a stealthy raccoon. Go ahead and give me a new stealth check, though. Okay. Let me find rat stats. As I'm you are. Sorry. As you are. Yeah, rat it's okay. Rat stats. Yeah. I need What's the rat, rat stat, stat on that? Yeah, I'm trying to get that right now. I'm sorry. Oh, no here we go. I found, it. I found it. It is uh, plus five. I have a plus five to do that. So you got a plus 15. All right. Yeah. So let me just grab that real fast. 25. All right. Yeah, you slip in there. It's not very deep. And as you get in, you uh, see something kind of huddled in the back. Looks like it's sleeping. And there's a bunch of discarded corn husks in here. And some that are still full. Like some that have not been eaten. I'm gonna get closer. Do I recognize this figure? Um, yeah, with your passive perception, you'd recognize that it is a goblin that you have seen before. Was it part of um, Giblink's crew, or is it Giblink? It, in fact, is Giblink. Oh, God damn it. Yes. What? How how big is this enclosure? Um, big enough that it looked like he had to crawl back there a little bit. Like, it goes under root a bit, but it is not something that a medium-sized creature would be able to... Like, they might be able to squeeze their way in, but it certainly wouldn't be... Like, he, even Gibbling could not fight in here. Okay, you I was You might just be able to as a raccoon. Okay, I will... I will... <laughs> Um, hmm. I will grab as many husks of corn as I can, as stealthily as I can, and return out of the hole uh, in front of my companions. All right. Roll me stealth yeah, roll me stealth with disadvantage as you're rustling things now. Okay. So first roll, it's a 25 again. Second roll. It's a 30. It's a natural 20. So yeah, he's, 25. He is, he is asleep. Damn, 35. Uh, I gather as much corn as I can, and I, I leave, and then I, I walk up to Wolfgang, and I just <laughs> dump everything in front of him, and I point to the hole. Um, and uh, how do I communicate this? Uh, I'm going to do, like, fisticuffs. <laughs> And then I'm gonna okay. do like an X, like I'm gonna do physicus, and then like no. You're, goblins, you see a angry goblins, Mister X. You see a raccoon doing old timey boxing poses, and then. Mm. Uh okay. Uh first word. Um. F fight. Second word. Shake my head. Shake my head. Shake my head. Mister X. <laughs> Shit, damn it. Go go ahead and give me a performance check. Uh, and then that will be the DC for your insight check. 14. Okay. Natural one. Oh yeah, he really doesn't get it. God. Double that one. That's beautiful. Uh, you're saying that we can't fit in the hole, but, and, but there is something in there that we should fight, is what you're saying. <laughs> Got it. Asma pulls out his blades again. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> shove my gun in the hole and just start firing. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, burn it down. <laughs> I frantic that I don't want Gibbling to die. I'm just going to abandon this and I'm going to run back in the hole and I'm just going to non lethally bite Gibbling on the leg. All right. Ah! 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 I, I hiss and I attempt to produce rabies. <laughs> <laughs> you you attempt to foam your mouth. <laughs> yeah, sure. Just okay, oil for foaming up. Okay. Can I do intimidation? I'm trying to get him to... Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. 13. Uh, he's reaching for a weapon. God damn. Out hole! Out hole! Leave! I, I will grab... Do we, do, uh, we hear, do we hear that on the outside? You hear, uh, basically, Denier, you understand, and Goblin, he's yelling, Get out! Get out! The rest of you just hear Goblin, There's a Goblin in there. Do I is recognize there? this Giblink? Yes, Pull out recognize Requiem. the voice. Giblink! What? Giblink. Giblink's back in the woods. Back with the hag. I will grab a piece of corn and I will run. Ah, get back! Ah! I'm gonna put my mouth up to the hole. Giblink! Wait, you... Stop, raccoon! Take food! It take me food! <laughs> it's our raccoon. Get out here now. Why you ha- ah, ah. <laughs> Kind of groggily gets out. Ah, still light. No like. Ah. We're Giblink food. We're damn what? raccoon. I'm what are him. you doing here? What, Giblink? Giblink track Giblink people. What What you do here? I thought you were back in... I thought you were back with Maggie. Giblink helps set up place. Giblink say you. Giblink go out, help find people. Oh, that's true. Oh, my God. We forgot that. He's going after the, the hobgoblin, the bugbears that left. Well, so are we. I guess three. I guess these are yours, then. Yeah. Yeah. Giblink take corn. Giblink hungry. So Food not plentiful. Me. Yeah? Give him back the corn. I, uh, I hesitantly, on two legs, stagger over and give him back the corn cob. <laughs> Weird raccoon. Strange. That's T Wig. Oh. I was gonna ask. No C metal thing. But metal raccoon makes sense. What? So what have you learned? Uh. Eh. Giblink track people out to Glade. Giblink people know there. I find abandoned camp. Look like travel east. Still searching. Do you, you think know. they went around? Do you think they went around the town then? Giblink don't know. Mm. Giblink still mm. search. Storm wash away track though. So yeah. Giblink kind of out of luck at moment. And they said they've seen a and in town as we said earlier they said they've seen a drow. So drow, maybe, dark elf. Yeah, it's a rumor in town. Just a rumor. Maybe Giblink Although, can you're right here. Then. Yeah, if you're here and we're here and we're looking for the same people, let's do this. Might mean we're onto something. Yeah. I could probably help you with that. How? What do? I have an ability. Anywhere in the world, as long as I know the person, I can send a message directly into their mind. I can contact one of your people it's that we met intrusive. from the camp. You need name or just met? As long as I know of them. Plus, we introduced ourselves back at camp. Yeah, true. You do talk at people. You like you remember, talking. You remember their names? Asmo just stunned. It'd be rude not to. I just said Some more polite them. than you. He looks at you. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. They might not respond, but I could send them a message. Ask where they are. Let them know that you've set up a uh, set up home. Hmm. If you if you can send, let them know I found home, safe place, good for people. They don't need fight. I'm not terribly sure about this. <sighs> If they try to leave that drow, who knows what'll happen to them. <laughs> yeah. Also, they'll know they're being watched. They're being followed. And that may count against them. Not if I don't tell them that we're following them. Just say, Giblink, Giblink found home. Safe. Mm -hmm. You can come back. Where are you? Worth shot. 
Better than what Giblin calf. Mm, got a bad feeling about this one. But okay, you do you, Denier. All right, so Denier's going to cast Sending to one of the goblins that seemed the most receptive whenever he spoke to them. The, uh, the bugbear. Yeah, the bugbears? Mm-hmm. Okay. He's basically going to say that Giblink has found home, safe, no fight anymore. You can return. Where are you? We help. And I say it in Goblin. In response, you hear... Just so what'd you hear? <laughs> so what'd you hear? <laughs> Denier, what'd you hear? Um. Uh. Does Denier faint? <laughs> <laughs> you just sitting there, Ow. one eye just twitching a little bit. <laughs> Ow, my brain. We're sorry. Your call has been disconnected. Please hang up and try again later. Rip headphone users, and I guess... Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, you, user. me, my ears are bleeding. <laughs> I was trying to find rats in the Manster Manual, and I almost ripped the page. Christ. <laughs> and, uh... That was a good way. You know, that was a good. That was no better. No, that's better than a stiff cup of coffee to wake someone's, up. Someone's someone's gonna be listening to the podcast and they're gonna like get into like they're gonna crash into somebody. Yeah. No, the thing Sorry, is, Austin. Gonna... <laughs> no, Austin's gonna see that coming in a timeline. And go. What uh, is that? <laughs> um. So Denier is gonna kind of relay the information that they weren't exactly receptive. <laughs> Was it in, was it in pain or was it just? It sounded like a feral scream, but you're not really sure exactly mm -hmm. what it means. Mm -hmm. You've never had a response like that, especially one that's a mental projection. <laughs> First off, out just, my brain. Just scare him. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean. I can try it again? Maybe. Uh, Wolfgang turns to the hard camera. Maybe we'll spare the listeners that. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, I don't think... I, I think you've gotten all you can out of that. Uh, he's just going to sit there holding his ears and his head for a minute. Uh, Giblink, what... Uh, what in bugbear culture does feral screaming indicate? Uh, unsure, really. Don't normally do that unless attacked? attacked. So in danger? Or, or about to attack? Traveling with that drow. I imagine that... Hmm. We need to try and catch up to him in a hurry. Well, maybe, maybe people know. Maybe people know more in town. Giblink can't go. Giblink kind not welcome. Yeah, I imagine not. Especially with Baron Kench taking over. Eh. Don't know him. Well, you do. Good. You do. He's the one who stabbed you. Him, Kench. Kench, man. Yes. He kind of, like, holds his hand down to his chest, where there's, like, basically kind of placing over what is a massive scar that leads from his, essentially his neck, down to his uh, belly Ooh. button. Well, I remember that. That's where he... Him Got catch. you on the way out. Yeah, Giblink no like that. Giblink stay, Giblink stay clear of that. That sounds about right. Could sneak him into the house at night. No, Giblink stay away. Okay, eh, eh, just throwing it out there. No, Giblink no mess with that. That man's scary. 
Plus, we don't need the political upheaval of having a goblin traveling with us. No offense. None take. Denier digs into his bag. He pulls out a small sack, and he hands it over towards Giblink. Here. This will help. It's ten days worth of trail rations. Hmm. Better than I can corn. Get, I can get more in town. You can't. Uh, Denier, was that in, uh, was that anywhere near your components pouch where you keep your stone? Um, I would say it would be near it, but not in it. All right, give me a perception check as you're reaching down towards that. Okay. Ah, uh, that's a six. Never mind. Eh. Appreciate Wait a minute. When I cast it sending, I would need a piece of copper wire, which I would have had to go into my spell components pouch for. Ah, fair enough. Uh, yeah, that some bitch is pulsing. Um, guys. What? Ah. Oh. He pulls this cloak out a little bit and shows the glowing component pouch. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Long time since you checked that. When was the last time you checked that? It's strange, though. Solomon's people don't usually use that. Uh, you had one the first time we met him. Are we talking about the gem right now? Sorry. Yeah. 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 Okay. The man himself. The man himself doesn't even know what the bleeding god was. Yeah, that means something else is going on. Wait. Didn't hear walk walk back towards town fifty feet. Okay. Denier watches the gym and he's gonna start walking backwards. I'm gonna follow him as a raccoon. Yeah. Hmm. As you walk back towards town, it's slow and subtle, but it does start to pick up in frequency the closer you get to town. Denier turns, looks and nods, motions towards town. Oh, boy. Well, I guess we know what we're doing for the next couple days. As our cracks his neck a bit. Wait a minute. Oh, well, we should... Now, there's only other one other person we know who has those. And you know him. Son no. of a bitch, the jester's in the city. You know no, wait, wait a minute. Them. Now, wait a minute. There's uh, also... There's yeah. also your teacher from the north. Yeah, yeah. He He's has one. Town. He's not in town yet, though. He's not coming till the day. At least we don't know. He's you been know that? Oh, shit, we have to find that out. Okay, sorry. Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> hmm. I can check. I can definitely check easily enough. Whenever the crystals are present, I think we need to check in on the source of them immediately. All right. I'll burn another one. Um, second casting of Sending, Ramses Palto. Ramses, we're getting notifications of a gym within the city. Have you arrived in Rock yet? You get a reply back. Ah, Denier. Yes, just getting unpacked now. Okay. Ramses is in the city. Well, that explains that. Stop by. Uh, he also mentions like stop. Uh, stop by. Uh, stop by the Kench Manor when you have a chance. He also suggests that we stop by the Kench Manor when we have a. Ugh. Asma rolls his eyes. Uh, I, I think we know the answer to this already, but I'm I have forgotten. Do all the crystals react to each other, or is it just an ears? Uh, they all react to each other. They all seem to know, like, they all seem to react to each other's presence. Like, whenever your guys are in Dragon's Rest, they, like, that thing's just going off like a fucking strobe. Hmm. I actually use it as a nightlight sometimes whenever I, uh, feel the urge to dance. Close the blinds, dancing by myself. 
Hmm. Well, that's... That's that mystery solved, I suppose. Unless there's another one. Unless there's another one, but... Uh... I think we should... Keep oh, moving. Oh, oh that? See, uh... That was my dog making noise outside the room. It sounded like a fart. I was, that was kind of yeah. <laughs> no, that it was like a dog was like, hello. Like, <laughs> no, that was not. That was Gregor. But yeah, out of character. What? Oh, 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 see. So we just head back to town then. Now that we've found out who the mysterious corn thief is. Yeah, I suppose so. We begin oh, heading back to town. I'm gonna ride on someone's shoulder as a raccoon. Wolfgang, you ride sure. on Wolfgang's shoulder. Okay, that's cool. a small raccoon. <laughs> you this get a few. You get a few stairs as you walk through town. What's your plan uh, upon getting back? Mm. I probably go to the the general store, pick up some some uh, restock, some supplies. Since um, since I just gave Giplink my food, yeah, you can um, spend you can spend like fifty silver on some general shit. Yeah, plus some. Uh, I'll also spend about thirty gold worth of uh, spell components. It's just general stuff. Yeah, nothing specific. Refill. But what's your next objective? I'd say Kinch Manor. Maybe we could. Uh... Yep. That would the be best a good bet. source. Right. As you approach, you walk up the streets to the manor atop the hill. Uh, as you're actually walking into the gates of the manor, you're stopped by a couple of guards. They ask your business names. Looks like there's one from the north and one from the south here. Does one tell lies and one only tells the truth? You don't know. Oh, shit. <laughs> State your business. Ramsey's Polto asked for us to stop by. Mm. Names. I'm Denier. Uh, high wind. Mm. All right. Name checks out. This must be your traveling companions. Indeed. All right. Move through. Thank you. He stepped through the As port. Just walks in. Fantastic to break into this place. Yeah, the, the courtyard is very nice. It looks like it leads off to uh, a bit of a topiary. Like, there's some topiary around here that's really well cut. Uh, one of them is in the shape of the hammer in the middle of the courtyard as you're stepping through. And as you go to enter the manor itself, uh, a couple of guards out front open the doors for you. In your and, nods. Yeah, and down the main stairs, you see uh, uh, Inquisitrix Vileblood walking down. Mm. Inquisitrix! Um. Asma, Denier, Wolfgang, and Raccoon. Yes. Why is it made of metal? Because it's magic. It's sick. <laughs> Step away from Wolfgang. Her, uh, her eyebrow sort of twitches a little and she continues walking. She throws up her hood and steps past you outside. Uh, around the corner from uh, the first floor, like kind of around the stairs. Ah, you made it. Wonderful. Ramsey's palto steps out. He's dressed in a nice uh, purple and blue robe. Ah, how was your journey, Denier? Uh, very quick. We've uh, set up a tower just outside of town. Yes, very wonderful to see all of you again. It's been a while. Kind of like nods politely towards each of you. I'll drop for him at this point. <laughs> Ah! Sorry, ah! all right. Ah! I feel like I'd slide off, but yeah, fair enough. 
Oh, no need for formalities. You could have stayed however you wished. I, I understood. No. Uh, out of character, I'm going to ask uh, pretty much... I already talked to him about the, the brand on my chest, right? I specifically remember talking to him about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, never mind. So, we had a pleasant journey. I just arrived the other day. We... I, too, decided to... Uh, I decided to teleport over to the wall itself just to try to meet with some of the dignitaries coming through and traveled the rest of the way here by caravan. Encountering oh, anything specific? Oh, just a few old friends from the academy. They're having a good time down at the inn, but as a diplomat myself, I'm able to stay here. I was just sojourning with the Archmage. Hmm. He's had a long trip and is not keen on this sunlight, let's say. I can imagine. Tell me, um, Denier. Mm-hmm. This place, do you feel anything off? Like the fact that there's forest sounds going off in this manner. Sorry. <laughs> I was good. I, I mean, like... <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, Denier's going to take a second and he's going to close his eyes and he's going to just kind of feel the area. Go ahead and do a wisdom check. Just straight okay. wisdom. Wisdom. That is a 15. You can feel yourself and you can definitely feel like a connection to Ramses through his stone, but nothing's odd is catching you about this town, at the, or at least around this area. Mm, I might be missing it. My senses aren't as keen as yours. Hmm, yes. I can feel you and I can feel me. But this town is... It feels haunted. Well, Not in I, a traditional northern sense now, but... Like there's great torment that's happened here. I can explain further, but I feel that yeah. here would not be the best time to do it. Oh, I think I understand full well. I know why they chose this place for the summit. I've already attempted to, how do you say, sway things a little bit here. Yes. But... It's, it's going to be difficult, to say the least. Seems whatever doctrine they follow around here is going to take a bit of time to work through its barbarity. But, regardless, progress is progress, and we shall make it. So how have you, uh, how's your stay been so far? It's been well so far. We've been keeping an eye out. We heard that there's, uh... We heard that there's a drow in the city, and we've also heard of goblins around the woods. Um, we've been following up on those leads as of late to make sure that there wasn't anything suspicious going on. Hmm. A drow, now that would be a bad omen. Perhaps that explains the other feeling. This overhanging dread. Hmm. How many like, people have died here? Hard to say. If I were to guess, I'd say probably hundreds. We are very Two close to the epicenter of the cataclysm, after all. Tuig's ears droop down immediately. Yeah. I always feel uncomfortable whenever I get anywhere even close to the Maw. Yes. Do you feel it whenever you get close? Almost uh, like it's trying to pull you in? 
When I was at the wall, it didn't feel as strong as it did here. The only time I've ever felt this... this tingling sensations going up and down my spine. I dare say that was when I first toured Bordeaux after its... purge, let's say. Yeah, we've... We've seen Bordeaux firsthand. Haunted place. Dreadful. It bothers me, Denier. It bothers me that I get the same feeling here. <clears throat> Yes, I can see that it it bothers me as well, but I don't, your senses just must be keener than mine due to all the practice and all the study that you've had with it. I'm still learning how to tap into mine. You'll find it one day, my boy. And regardless with the Heroes of the realm around, I can't imagine anything could truly go wrong. Well, sorry to bring up such a droll conversation upon first meetings. Oh. Is there anywhere to drink around here? Yep, downtown there's a bar. Two, actually. Splendid. <clears throat> Wonderful. I think I shall go. Quench my thirst. Get it. Heck, I'll join you. Ah, if wonderful. You... We can make an evening of it. <gasps> Sounds like fun. If yes. you want some place a bit more quiet, you can also join us at the tower, just outside of town. Hmm. I might take you up on that. But for those that are joining, food's on me. As is the first round of beverages, I'm afraid I'm not being paid that well. <laughs> Those who wish to follow, follow Ramses to the town. As an uneasy air still hangs over. When he says haunted, does he mean like... Like... There's... Stuff here? Bad karma. Negative energy. However you want to put it. Hmm. The last time I was in Bordeaux is Bordeaux's a town north of the Maw, where everybody in the town just disappeared overnight. Whole legends spouted out around the place. Have you ever heard of the Jester of Bordeaux? Say, so, uh, I... Ramses looks and says that to you, T Wig. I would like to look inside of myself to see. Insight. Nineteen. You can say for a fact that you've never heard of the Jester of Bordeaux, but this talk of violence, you do have a flash in your head. A man bleeding against a bookshelf. And like that, it's gone. We have never met this person. There is something I need to do. Um, I will catch up later. I'm gonna leave if I can, if I'm not stopped. You know it's not gonna stop you. Yeah. Tiwig, where are you gonna wander off to while uh, everybody else is heading towards the pub, essentially? The pyre in the center of town. Ooh. Well, you're all still kind of... Well, okay, so they, they turn and head into the pub and you walk off towards the pyre that's across the courtyard. I'm going to pull out that scroll I bought. Speak with dead? No, I didn't get that one. Oh, I got which the other one, one did you get? I got blink. Yeah, that's right. But when I use it, it can send me into the ethereal plane. Okay. Do you so... use it? 
I'm going to see what I, if I can see the moment it goes off, I want to see what I see near this pyre in the ethereal plane. Let me just double check on the spell. Um, yeah, roll a d20 at the end of each of your turns. It lasts for one minute. So, on a roll of 11 or higher, I vanish from my current plane of existence and appear in the ethereal plane. So that would be six rolls to attempt to jump into the ethereal plane. Okay. Okay. So I just roll a d20, I guess. Yeah, immediately I pop into the ethereal plane. Do I see anything? As you're looking around, you see what looks to be like wisps rising from the earth around these pyres. They all lead up towards the sky, toward the moon. Okay, I'm probably back at this point. I'm going to roll but again. You don't feel alone when you're there. And your form, it's not the... You don't see, like... You feel closer to something. Sorry, go ahead and roll again as you attempt to stay in. I'm in. Natural 20, I'm in. You are very in. Go ahead I'm and give in. me an insight check with advantage. Oh, fuck me. 14. You get another glimpse of that alleyway that you remember seeing running down before. You're chasing after something in a cloak. It ducks around a corner. You turn and you can feel your nails dig into the stone as you run across this alleyway. And as you turn, you can see the Wizzlestein spire. And then you're back again. And go ahead and make another roll as you're trying to stay into the ethereal realm. Four. I'm back in the material plane. You pop back into existence and a bunch of people are startled. Ah! We are sorry for the disturbance. We will be going now. Where do you decide to... to wander off to? I'm going back to the tower. To sit down. Tiwig begins to wander out of town while you guys are enjoying a nice meal. As, as, an uneasy, as an uneasy air hangs, or as an uneasy feeling hangs throughout the air. And this is where we will end tonight's session. <laughs>